دي العظمه اللي اسمها الالنا this is the fifth bone of the skeleton of the upper limb الالنا ليه two ends and shafts so it is a long bone also so دلوقتي احنا قلنا في الكلافيكل والهيومرس والراديوس والالنا دول كلهم لونج بون وعندنا السكابيلا كانت فلات بون بالنسبه للالنا two ends and shaft this is the upper end and this is the lower end and this is the shaft في الابر اند وي هاف This is called olecranon process. Olecranon process. This process articulates with the olecranon fossa of the humerus. So again, this is the olecranon process. This notch is called trochlear notch. Trochlear notch. This process is also called coronoid process. So we have coronoid process, olecranon process, and the trochlear notch. Olecranon process, coronoid and trochlear notch. In the anterior aspect of the coronoid, we have what's called ulnar tuberosity. Ulnar tuberosity. If we did the, humor, the ulnar like this, here we have what's called radial notch. This is for articulation of the head of the radius. Radial notch. Below the radial notch, here we have supinator fossa. Supinator fossa. Behind that, we have supinator crest. So again, olecranon process, trochlear notch, coronoid process, ulnar tuberosity, radial notch, supinator fossa, supinator crest. If we descend from the subinator crest, we'll find what's called interosseous border. So this is the interosseous border. If we look to the lower end, we'll find what's called the head of the ulna. And this process is called the styloid process. Styloid process. If we repeat the ulna, this is the anterior surface of the ulna. Anterior surface of the ulna. This is the lateral surface, and this is the posterior surface. And the most important thing here is the posterior border. This posterior border gives attachment to three muscles by aponeurosis. So this is the ulna, again, for the last time. This is called olecranon process, trochlear notch, coronoid process, ulnar tuberosity, This is the radial notch, supinator fossa, supinator crest, interosseous border, head, styloid process. We have here what's called groove for extensor carpi ulnaris. Groove for extensor carpi ulnaris. This is a long bone. How do I identify the site? I saw of the in shemel, cranium process upward. Will head downward. Trochlear notch anterior. A radial notch will enter osseous border with subinator crest with subinator fossa above the lateral. If I look at it in the eye, I will see the same in the So this is the right ulna. So thank you.